Okay, yeah. All right, here with Cartier Jot at Big 12 Media Days. Uh, your first time at this event so far, what's it been like for you? Um, a lot of questions. Yeah. I don't mind it though, it's been cool, it's been dope, little experience. What's the oddest question you've got so far? Does one stand out? Oddest question is what's Well, I'm gonna I'm I'm keep it going. I got the question, what's the best place in, uh, in Manhattan, Kansas to eat? And I uh -huh. said bourbon and baker, easy. Bourbon and baker? Waffles in the world. Are you serious? You the ch have you had the chicken and biscuit there? No, but I do know, because I'm gonna tell the world, everybody come to Manhattan, Kansas, come get this chicken and waffles. Uh -huh. You're so good. <laughs> Absolutely right. I'm sure you've been asked a lot about the poll and being picked ninth. Is that something you guys even look at? Or what was your reaction, I guess, when you heard that? Um, one, uh, I do have a cellular device, but I did not be on it that much. Uh, of course, you know, Coach told us about that. And uh, our mentality has always been the same. Uh, we, we've been an underdog. Uh, we haven't been picked this low in, in, in a minute, but... Uh, we always exceed expectations when it comes down to it. I mean, what, from what I've seen and what I've been a part of, but um, we know what a successful season is for us, and, and, and that's all that matters. And of course, we're still trying to, you know, win another Big 12 championship. So I mean, uh, only thing stopping us is us, of course. We, we stay with that defensive mentality and, and stay a, a top five a defensive team in the nation and, and score the ball better. Is the sky's the limit? How would you best describe what your what your role is this year on this team? Um, okay. Dang, my role is just gonna be you know whatever it takes to win. Uh, I know I'll have to you know take take some uh, other, other scoring low, uh, which I, I don't mind doing. I feel like you know I've, I've prepared very well, working in the gym, uh, watching a lot of film, learning, studying, and uh, I think that's the, the biggest thing is gonna be that. Uh, me being more prepared, watching the other team, seeing how they how they defend other great players, and, yeah. and seeing how I'm gonna, you know, score and and, and, and uh, affect the game, and you know, get my teammates involved, and you know, just of course, just winning. That's the most important thing. So whatever it takes. Of course, you know, great players and great shooters are always not gonna have a good shooting day. Right. And uh, you gotta find other ways to affect the game and and uh, and win. And I think you know, rebounding. Uh, defense, steals, you know, those little things, just making an extra pass, passing it, uh, is, is, is little things that, you know, help, help, it won't, you won't see, you won't always see it on the stat sheet, but if you win the game, yeah, you did something really well, so that's the biggest thing, just winning, when you win, everything looks good. A lot of guys, you know, go in the off season. you think of the, the new James Harden, Eurostep 3 or whatever it is, like, do you have any moves you've tried to add, like, specifically in the off season, or what were you, I guess, most proud of that you've, that you've worked on? Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I've. I'm, I haven't added anything. I'm just gonna use some things that I've I've kept in the you know in the vault. I'm gonna say that uh, I got the opportunity now to to, to, to to showcase more of my my talent. So I think that's just gonna be it. I haven't added anything. Just more polished. Yeah. And I want. Go ahead. You talked about wanting to play off the ball more this this year. And guys like Sloan and and SNW. Or I guess Sean Williams. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> what do you What do you think about having those two guys to be able to actually play off the ball a little bit? Oh, that's gonna be great because I uh, I know if you know going back to my first meet I shot 40 from the three off yeah. just catching shoots off the ball. Uh, I think that's gonna be great. I've been working a lot on my on my catch and shoot. I think it's a lot better. I plan on. I mean, I want to shoot 45 or above from the three. So I mean, I, I think I'm very capable of doing that. And uh, you know, those guys are gonna help me uh, get catch and shoot threes you know, easy. Um, I mean, not having to dribble the ball up the court and then you know having to create like that. And um, also, you know, layups too, you know, off a, off a tag, a low tag or whatever, however they tag it. Just, you know, being ready off the, uh, off the catch is, is what Coach Ben Press, I'm pressing. I know that uh, I'm really good at that and, and, and getting by, by defenders. So I think that, that them being, being able to, uh, you know, hold, uh, hold the PG position and me coming off the screen and off, and off the ball is, is going to help too. Make it a lot easier yeah. for myself. And oh, sorry, guys. Hey, oh, and Dejuan Gordon, he's talked about, he's been talked about being probably one of the best players in practice so far. Which, is, how impressive is that for a freshman? And what do you think you'll see from him this year? That's very impressive, um, because you know, I mean, I, I kind of feel like I've been in, was in his situation, knowing, you know, uh, coming in as a freshman, you know, knowing 
that you're good and yeah. you can play and you can you can hang and uh, he knows that and he's a he's a big guard six five he just you know uh, got to got to learn a little bit more of of the you know defensive part of it because you know of course that's our foundation is defense but offensively his game is is is, is pretty good and he you know he's, he's efficient statistic wise he always tracks stuff in practice and. And honestly, the team as a whole has been shooting the ball really well. So I, mean, I, I, I look forward. I hope y'all look forward to it too. But um, just you know, better, better three-point percentage as a team, free throws and field goal percentage. So really you know, everything goes up from there. Key big man in this team. He was a Xavier recruiting class that you guys brought in. Yeah, better yet, maybe more athletic than it's been. Yeah, definitely. We want to. We want to. We want to bring it kind of back. To the, 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 the more lead eight year, year. Yeah. where we just you know we, 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 we kick it and run and, 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 and lob and stuff like that. So you know just make it a lot more fun. And just we've been just running a lot, coaching, yeah. stressing, you know, get the ball down the court in, in three seconds, go for rebound, get it down, uh, and, and, and get into something or you know dribble drive or you know one of our one of our little uh, you know, sets and stuff like that and, and, and get quick into stuff so we can get more possessions and you know just keep watch, get before the defense sets up so it's just um, just pushing the ball and we got a lot of fast players everybody's been running we've been conditioning really well so I mean, that's going to be big. You mentioned the 